Uh, I now have concealment from him because of shadow walk. Okay. And, uh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Eliak. Okay, motherfucker, let's do this. What's Wait, up, do you, son? Do you save saving throws. Yep. Oh, yeah, saving roll. 1d20. Oh wow. no! It, do uh, it doesn't do anything on a saving roll. The effect continues. It continues Fuckle. super hard. <laughs> <laughs> you are really <laughs> slow right now. I'm really feeling it, I'm, guys. It, it's <laughs> kicking in now. The you should have ran in. into that uh, giant boulder earlier. <laughs> Concussions okay, kicking. <laughs> All right, so I need free hand for that. Um, Mr. Master Strike, or I could. Turn this baby that direction. So what I could do is shift there. Assuming I hit it, but okay. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be the most useful here. Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, footwork lure here. I want to explain this first because this is different because I'm, I am hanging on to him. Uh, basically, what happens is I can, sh assuming I hit, I can shift one square, and I can move this dragon into the square I'm in. Say I hit, I want to, you know, shift the dragon where I am, but shift here. And since I'm holding onto its neck, would I be able to have it so it's facing this direction? Sure. You know. Okay. You trying to kill me? <laughs> it's still it's still not gonna be in range of you. Alright, so let's let's roll for this here. Uh, footwork blur. Do I have any bonuses right now? Anybody know? No, nobody's giving me bonuses? Okay. Not that I know. Wow. This is against uh his AC. AC. Um it does not strike him. Okay. Um Minor action. What am I? We're trying to nail one of his feet into the ice with my free hand via standard action. Yeah, that's good. That's a lot of work. Okay, what else can I do here? And you're really assuming the dragon is holding still. <laughs> yep. Um... Eliak, proficiency in hammer and nails. <laughs> <laughs> They're useful, man. Um. I can do some kind of rope here. Sorry, give me a second. Um. Continue holding on. I don't have a free hand. I'm holding my weapon right now, anyways. So yeah, that's all I got, I guess. Okay. Uh, Drummond. Alright, so first off, I'm going to use my second wind okay. to heal for five. Alright. Oh, what's going on? Okay, calm down. Use game. your daily or something. Oh, you used your fucking daily. I already game, used yeah. my dailies. Sort of haphazardly. And I'm going to use my minor to. Um, extend the flames, but that also extends it to an area burst three, and the flames don't hurt anyone in the party. Okay. Um. Let's see. It melts all the ice. Yeah, what is it? How did floor. you? What did you build your character in? Me. Yeah, where did you build your character? I'm sort of just a striker, I guess. No, where did you build your? Oh, character? I built it. I built it in uh, a downloadable character builder, but then I rebuilt it in. Uh, okay, in so this premise. is official. It was official before, but yes. Okay, I gotta take a look at this. This is a strange character. I haven't seen a build like this before. You have multiple dailies. Yeah, because I have a spell book. He's a wizard. The fuck? The fuck? Is yeah, you explain that one.
All right. Are you doing anything else, Drummond? Uh, no, I'm going to stay here for now. All right, Dane. Give me a saving throw. All right. If you can heal me, if you can keep keep the healing up while I hold this thing down, that'd be super. The, uh, I'm bloody, by the way. Condition persist. Okay. All right, so I now cast Inspiring Word on Eliac again. So that's, what is that again? It's it is a you get to use your uh, healing surge plus plus it's one d six plus two plus whatever your healing surge is. Okay. Wasn't it plus four last time because you had some plus two bonus oh, outside of the? Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, that's what it is. It's one d six plus two. Oh, I thought you said another plus two last time. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, three. Um, plus two. Thank you. I know it sucks not doing damage, but you're also... You're dual rolled as a healer here. Yep. Not bloodied anymore. Oh, that's your miner anyways. Yeah, it's a miner. Now, if I shift up into the square above Shugan, does that promote or pr prompt an attack from the dragon? No, because you're moving... Because the square you're in is not adjacent to the dragon. Okay. Yeah, if you ever move into a zone, you you're fine. Especially okay. with the shift. If you're ever shifting, the rule is you're fine. Yeah. Alright, I'm shifting shift in. Never. Now I'm going to use my encounter standard action, Warlord's Favor. So right. that is strength versus AC. Okay. Wish me luck, boys. Rip, 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 kick him in the knee. Rip, 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 rip. Kick him Using in the knee. Using a DM point. Knee. All right. There we go. There you go. You cut through. You saw one All right. point left. So for this one, it's uh, 2d10 plus 6. Okay. And then the other effect is any ally within five squares of me gains a plus two power bonus to their attack rolls to the end of their turn, so that will go that will pass to Shugan. So Shugan, you get a plus two to your attack rolls. Yeah. As do I? Just one. Oh, just one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I gave I gave it to him because I gave him the poison, so Oh yeah, yeah. Shugan is gonna deal with most of the Yeah, I gave it to Shugan by all means. <laughs> I'm just holding on to this fucker, so you guys can hit him. So I get I deal 17 damage. All right, so you deal nine damage. Oh yeah, sorry, nine damage. Okay. And then, uh, that's it. Yeah, standard minor, and then I moved. All right, uh, Shuken. All right, I'll uh, use twin strike on this bastard. And you cut through his hide. Oh, one, two, two. I'm just waiting for this cone, man. I am waiting for the cone. Six. You have to be close. It's not gonna happen until it's bloodied. Well, he's gonna be close to bloodied at this point. What the? You're, what? what? <laughs> he's at the double I, plus. Oh, it's yeah, a double so. plus. The uh, syntax just doesn't work. Yeah, I, I messed the up. shit out of me. There we go. That's better. Okay. Did you add in the four from your poison? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so 18. Alright. I'm waiting for the fucking cone. I'm just fucking Eight waiting for it. Plus mm -hmm. two, plus two. Hey, if we're lucky, the ice will melt and he'll fall in the water. He never said he'll anything about this thing being able to swim. I'm also... I, I, I don't know if I can swim. Did you factor in the four that time? That was a... That's an attack roll. Oh! Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you obvious. Yeah. <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> you hit the fuck out of it. Nice. Max damage. Crit. Uh, all right. Oh, so, God. As you strike him, oh, he immediately lifts up his head and lets out another burst of ice. Uh, I'm gonna burn you fuckers. Orme, <laughs> only one in the burst. Wait, Orme is the only one in you the just, burst? Yep. You just had to get me, didn't you? You're the only one? Here, I'll draw out this. <laughs> oh, wait, but I have concealment. I have concealment. Remember that when rolling that attack. I'm about to freeze your nuts. 
<laughs> I just, that's his burst, and you're the only one. Oh, you guys moved. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it sucks for Omre, but. Fuck it. I can't heal you, bud. You gotta heal yourself. You attempt to move, but are critically struck. Oh! Max damage. You are slowed and weakened and take 22 damage. Oh, oh Jesus damn. Lord. I have one hit point left. <laughs> or maybe just... you're gonna have to heal yourself on that one, bud. I actually don't have a heal. Get your you max. You don't have a second you, you wind. You got a second wind, dude. You got a second wind, and then as soon as you get your second wind, get at max range possible. Even if I mean, yeah. save yourself. All right, and shoot. Send back the healer. Are yes. you doing anything else? Um, I don't think I can. So no, that's the end of my turn. It is now the dragon's turn. Did you put the bloodied mark? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. First things first. All right, guys, we're doing all right here. We haven't we haven't lost one yet, kinda. I got a plan. I got a plant. Oh, uh, did you in, in, uh, did you take in effect the minus two to attack rolls on that um, attack? He critted. Or my, he, critted. he critted. Oh yeah, it, or it, my, I don't know if it's minus two to attack or minus two to attack. It doesn't matter. He crit. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter. It's a crit. It yeah. just automatically goes. A crit is an. Oh yeah. It's, it, oh yeah. It's crit. It's. I was thinking it's crit on the damage, rather than the actual hit. I get that mixed up. All right. Let's see here. Okay. When does he shake you off from your grab? Uh, well, he, he still he has can to. At escape. He can. He can attempt to make an escape now. Okay. Uh, it's but he uh, he's gonna make that attempt with a with fortitude, but I'm not sure what it's against. Escape. Okay, hang on. Let me check the rulebook for escape. Yeah, let's see. So this has been a four-hour-long session so far. Oh no, I I resist grab escape attempts with fortitude. Okay. So it's gonna be me making a, uh, making it with a uh, with, against my fortitude, but I'm not sure what it, he is still gonna roll. Let's see, because it's it's called in, inescapable hold. Resist grab escape attempt with fortitude. Okay, so I make an um, an athletics check versus your reflex. What's your reflex? But it'd be against my fortitude instead of reflex. Okay, well, what's your fortitude then? Uh, Eighteen. Wow. Um, oh shit. So he he has a plus fifteen athletics, and he critically rolled. So uh, as he knocks you free, he throws you uh, one square. So simply there, um, and then give me uh, an acrobatics check. so bad okay and you land on your feet <laughs> Ellie are doing work oh <laughs> all right and uh, the dragon lifts its head up and lets out an incredibly deafening roar wait 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 <laughs> Thank you. What is everybody's will? Um, eleven. Eleven. Fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. However, none of you are affected by it. Ooh. Shitty ass dragon. No. Chunk of ass. I was that powerful enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> This dragon is I didn't realize this is like the Urkel of dragons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, slightly socially awkward, wears big glasses. <laughs> and then the dragon lunges at you, Eliak, to bite you. It so, says, did I do that? What's your AC? 18. And he snaps down on your armor, not affecting you. And that moves us to Orome's turn. He just gets two attacks per round. 
Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think anybody gets two attacks per round. I, I know dragons have action points. Mm, maybe. It. I, I don't. I think it's against the rules to give anything two attacks. Drummond, through your nature check, you do know that dragons have multiple action points. Okay. Or me. Maybe he did die. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Heal yourself. Second wind. Yeah, I will. That's your standard action. That's That's my 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 Web of shadows! Damn. Sorry. Okay. So that's, uh, that's 2d6 plus 4 necrotic damage, and the target is immobilized. It also creates a burst zone that lasts until the end of the encounter. Any creature that willingly enters this zone is immobilized until the end of its next turn. Okay, so he's immobilized and he takes... 16 damage. 16 damage. And a, save will, and a save will end. Now I'm going to use my action point. Oh, so it's a save to release from the, the immobilization? Correct. And necrotic damage, does that do anything specific to him? And no. is it persistent? No, he is not weakened to it. Also, okay. since he's using his action point, that activates my Bravura presence, which means that um, on that attack, since he, or whatever... Wait, actually, let me rephrase that. Orme, are you using that action point to attack again? I can if you'd like. Well, here's the thing. Since you activated the presence, you have really one of two options, but this can go three, one of three ways. If you hit this uh, target with an attack, it grants you the ability to deal to do another basic attack, like the damage from a basic attack, or you can move your character if you hit the target. If you miss the target, you gain combat advantage until the end of your next turn. Okay. And that's if, uh, that's if you're using the action point to attack. Okay. So just to keep it in mind. You know what? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I can heal you, so. And I yeah. kind of have a plan. I'm going to use my move action. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, two, three, cuatro, cinco. Where's my... Day. Actually, no. Stay there, I have a plan for you. Yeah. I'm going to turn this way, and I am using my action point to attack again, having combat advantage flanking him. Okay. So that would be a plus four normally, which means plus six now. Since I have the combat advantage of flank. All right. Ah, uh, that was a question. Oh yeah. Okay, I had the numbers right. Yeah, that's against his will. Uh, it does not affect him. Like... Okay. So now you gain combat advantage until the end of your next turn, Orme. Okay. Um, hold on, Orme. Oh, never mind. No, wait. Yeah. Um, did you roll a saving throw at the beginning of your turn? Oh no, I did not. Okay, so roll a saving throw first, real quick. That's just a d20? Yes. Yeah. Plus the saving, saving throw modifier, modifier, which is nothing. Okay, so we'll assume that your save had... Um, okay. Thing it yeah, my apologies. I never had to say I never had to roll to save anything yet. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> I was going to say that damage you did would have been halved and you couldn't have moved to where you are. Like, we would have had to reverse it quite a bit but all right yeah it's fine so that means they get combat advantage for the next turn that means you get two combat like does that double up because he no, already has stack. combat no no okay combat advantage does not stack all right well yeah you have combat advantage does that okay. end turn um checking heal i can't can't? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, Elliot. Question, does, um, am I after Eliak? 
No, oh, I there am. we go. No. Finally. All right. Your effects are removed, Elliot. It goes, um, let's see, Orme, Elliot, Drummond, Dane, Shukin. Okay, so Shukin's after me. Okay, that's what I need to know. And that's Dragon cool. is first. Would, yeah. would that provide me combat advantage? From? From where that torch is? No. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not going to give me that cone. Uh, you guys still got that on them? Okay, let's just go ahead and make attack here. With Master Strike. Against AC here. Nothing. Imagine nope. the scene here, guys. We're, we're literally fighting him, like, while our, we're, like, surrounded by fire. Mm hmm So cool. And I'm, I'm gonna shift back one. Alright. And that shall be it for me. Okay, uh, Drummond. Okay, uh, can I do a perception check to see how the ice is? Um, yes. Uh, no need to even roll. Okay. The ice appears unchanged from what it was earlier. Alright, I'm going to maintain my fire with my miner, and I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Okay. I want you guys to know I'm eating blackjack peaches and bread rolls. Fuck you. So good. <laughs> and I'm assuming that doesn't hit. No. Alright, I'm going to move one... Two... Skedaddling. Three... I bet he found four, some gold. Four, five... Mm -hmm. Six, and I'm gonna run for the last two. One... Two. <sighs> Right. Oh, that reminds me. Um, or May. Douglas has the sixty gold that we found earlier. Yeah. How that happened? You gave it to him. And we I, tried to convince the dragon to And I'm going to end to my turn. Us. Okay. Okay. Cool. He also uh, has a staff that he found. That we Dane. Found. But he did say that he would relinquish it, if I remember correctly. Relinquish once what? Orme had returned. The staff or the gold? The staff. The staff's all so that would pass I, to I, you. I'm, prof I'm proficient with orbs. He's welcome to the staff. I'm proficient okay. with orbs as well, but I took the staff for now. Okay. So it's my turn? Yep. <sighs> Alright, um... All right, so I'm going to pass to Shukin my last potion of Cure Light Wounds back, and then I'm going to tell him to pass it to Orme. All right. So Orme, on your turn, you can activate it, and then I'll tell you exactly what that entails. Is that a free minor or what? That is going to be a minor action for you. Okay, sweet. All right, so it's free for me to pass it to Shukin. Am I correct? Yep. All right, um, let me look. That's what I got. Eliak, what's your help right now? Um, I'm doing I'm at 23. I'm doing all right. I could, I mean, healing surge, well, if you use lay on hands, it would put me up to max. Okay. So I'm going to save on healing you for now. Um, I am going I think I'm out of its reach. To, okay. I'm going to apply my second carrion crawler brain juice poison to my weapon now. Okay. Um, so it's just a plus four damage if it hits. Yep. And now I am going to use my daily, which is lead the attack. So this is going to be strength versus AC. Okie dokie. Come on. You know you do not have combat advantage. Oh, give me a saving throw, Dane. First. Oh, yeah. Sure, first I forgot about that. Big money, no aiming. Nope. Okay. All right, then, since that's the case, then I'm not going to use my daily. <laughs> <laughs> um... In that case, I am now going to use Rusing Assault. So then again, it's Strength versus AC. Okay. Okay. You cut through his hide. Mm -hmm. So then it's 1d10 plus 6, and then divide that by 2. So 4 damage. All right. And uh, for the next turn, when I heal somebody... 
I can add an additional plus two to the heal. Okay. And then, so that was... Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. Actually, um, I have to redo that. I have to redo the damage because of the plus four from the poison. Just, add, just add the plus four then. Yeah, I'm just going to add the plus two. Yeah, okay. Or yeah, plus two. So six damage. Yep. Well, isn't it plus four? It's, it's half damage for me because oh, yeah, I haven't yeah. gotten out of the, uh, what do you call it yet? Yeah, but it's extra damage. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's poison. So the poison would still do its damage even though your weapon didn't yeah, hit it as not hard. Really good. It does say extra damage. I mean, we're, we're arguing damage. over two damage here, but... It doesn't matter, but... I think it would give him the four, but it's up to you. That's, that's, a, fair considering, that's a fair argument. I deducted two more. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right, so... Hmm. My health. 24... All right, so then I'm gonna have to use my shit. I'm gonna use my second wind. All right. So, actually, you know what? Yeah, if I use my second wind, then that automatically triggers the effect from Rusing Assault, which was the plus two extra for the health. So, let's see. That is eight. So ten. Okay. There we go. Okay. You'll know. And then, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, and Shuken. Okay, I give Orme the Cure Light Wounds potion first, and then I'll use Twin Strike once again against this dragon. That hits them. Seven damage. D. Plus eight. Plus two. D six. Plus four. Plus four. Uh, later on, I'm gonna take a look at your character sheet. I'm gonna uh, write out some macros for you to help you out. Uh, so you don't have to go, go through and do it yourself, and you, you can just paste them in whenever you get a sec. Okay. Do you guys mind if I log into the uh, the character creator real quick? Go for it. Oh, let me make sure I'm exited out, because I think yeah, I'm in there right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, Is anyone near me able to speak the same language as the dragon? Yes. Uh, uh, actually, you can't hear me. Uh, yes, Wait, can he? Yeah, you yep. can. Yeah. Okay, I tell Elliot to tell the dragon that if it uh, if it forfeits, yes, surrenders. Yeah, surrenders. Thank you. Um, and agrees to become uh, allow us to become its master, then we will spare its life. <laughs> I relay that. <laughs> um, the dragon Good luck just tells you to surrender. Surrender! Oh okay. yeah! Hulkamania, brother! Hey. Hey, I, whoever's got that voice changer, I want you to be at the ready for this next attack if it works, okay? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that's all I can do. That's the end of my turn. Alright, rolling a save on the immobilize. Alright. The immobilized effect is gone. It's still slowed, though, because of the poison. Okay. You gotta slap. You gotta slap a slow one there. <laughs> is it double slowed? Because no, there's no slow effect poison? on there right now. <laughs> Is the slow a save end as well? Uh, let me check. Wait, no, was it... And also, was it slowed and immobilized, or once the immobilization went no, away? No, no, no. The way it works is that the immobilization was, like, if you... Say, for example, it's basically for RP sake. Like, say, for example, like, if you poison someone's cup and they touch it, then they're immobilized. That was a separate action. For uh, combat purposes, 
it's once a target is hit with the poisoned weapon, it is slowed until the end of the person who attacked its next turn. So the end of Shuken's next turn. That's how long the duration lasts. But he slowed it not last turn, the turn before. So the slow would be gone now. Well, he just hit him again with a. He just slow. hit him again, so it reapplies. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the dragon turns. And as it does so, it once again lurches backwards. Oh shit. And minus two. Uh, minus two, you said? From its tech? Yeah. And it's tech. sprays bits of frost and ice at all of you. What's this against? Oh shit. This is against your reflex. Oh fuck. So what's your reflex? Oh. Or maybe you better hope 14, you 14. Elliot? Oh me too. Oh shit. <laughs> uh reflex, reflex, reflex. Where is it at? Oh, thirteen. None of you are able to get out of the way. Critical fail. Here's where this You all take 16 damage and are slowed and are weakened. So that puts me at 7. Okay, so Orme. Saving throws begin. And um, the dragon just says that you will die. And then. <laughs> You're not dead yet, Orme. And oh. th that passes to Orme. Uh, hold on. How much? You had one health, minus 16, so you are well, negative 15. Health. He would be dead. Wait, did that, does that put me in negative 15, or would I just go to zero and. No, it goes down to negative 15. He wouldn't be dead. He'd yeah, be unconscious. Uh, don't you die at negative 10? Um. Well. Bagless. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure the way it works, anyways, in fourth edition, is you go to zero and then you count down to ten unless someone coops the grasses you. Um, no, not necessarily. Okay. You might be right. There might be a certain threshold. Yeah, that you finally do die at, but I'm looking it up right now. Yeah. Death in for you. Hey, Dag, we could really use your help right now. He ran away to steal okay, lower than ten something. you slip so lower than ten you slip one step closer to death. If you get this result three times before you take a rest, you die. Ten to nineteen, no change. Alright, when you're dying you make a saving throw at the end of each turn, each round. The result of your saving throw determines how close you are to death. Lower than ten, you slip one step closer. Ten to nineteen, no change. Twenty or higher, spend a healing surge. When you do so you're considered to have zero hit points and then your healing When search. you hit your bloodied value expressed as a negative number, you die. Okay. What's your bloody value, Orme? 11. Oh, he's dead. dead. You die. Oh, shit. Wait, it, it oh, just seems like we've read a series of conflicting rules, though. Which, which rules is the official 4th edition rulebook? The ones I'm holding. Okay. The ones I'm holding are from the 4th edition rules compendium. But it, what it is is... Okay. It, it, he's right, though. Okay, when you hit zero hit points, uh, as you take damage, you continue to go down. Um, but as long as you are not to your, um, your bloody value in a negative, you make saving throws every turn. At a 9 okay. or lower, you slip one step closer to death. You have three steps. Uh, at 10 to 19, there is no change, and you remain in the step you are currently in. And at 20 or higher, you become conscious and burn a healing surge. Okay. And you're at zero hit points. Shit, man. We we actually just lost a person. So next time we play, just um, re-roll the new character, and we'll throw you right back in. Or I'll put you, you know, we'll, we'll make up some way that you come back into the story right away. He's going to make a new character, though, doesn't he? Yeah, we have to re-roll a new character, basically. And he loses, like, his experience, etc. You, When you come back in, you'll come back in at the experience of everyone else. Oh, really? Usually I've seen DMs give, like, some experience like, penalty of some sort. 
It's like when Drummond came in, he came in at everyone's experience. Whenever someone comes in, they're gonna come in oh, okay. at the same experience. It's, I've always Just been so we it's scale purely together. it's it's purely DM's yeah. choice how they introduce characters. Man, so that or, sucks. I was gonna run over and stabilize him. When I asked you, do you want to uh, hop in now to help out? Maybe you should have said no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn it. That Just make sucks. Oro May with like an accent over the E. <laughs> it's like <laughs> your tears twin brother or something. Yeah. Just a doppelganger. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's not Same like value. you're out of D and D. You just re-roll a new character. It's not that big a deal. So, mm -hmm. and everyone here can loot his body in the in the end, assuming you all live. So. Oh, I ain't got shit, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got jack shit. I got a bottle of wine. Have fun. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> all right, Elliot. It is your now your turn. So give me a saving throw. Do none of you have saving modifiers? <laughs> like I know. I think you have, have to take feats. No one, yeah, no one, no one has those until we start leveling up. Yeah. Well. All right, Elliot. Uh, your ability or your things are removed. Okay. I need to tink here. Sorry, Haji. <laughs> I feel That's bad. Right. <laughs> Fuck this dragon, by the way. All when right. is okay? Well, uh, Dean, will you heal me next turn? I want seven health. Got... I would recommend using your healing surge now. As I was saying, if I use my healing surge now, that will you, will you be able to heal me on your next turn? E. What's your health at right now? Fucking seven. So seventeen. See the no. problem? That'll put me to 14. Alright, Shuken, do you mind healing yourself okay. with your second one? Okay. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm at 14 of 30 if I okay. use this. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to use my uh, second wind here. So I'll add. That's a standard action. And that still leaves me bloodied. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Can I use a minor action to throw my lantern at oh, him? Right there in that square. Right next to him, or just? No, like I, I don't want to hit like here because if I make a if I make a one or something, I might hit one of these guys. This right. just seems farther away. Um, they clip its wing. Yeah, go ahead and throw your lantern. Give me a strength or athletics, strength or athletics, whichever one is. Okay. They should be roughly the same. So. All right. So you throw your lantern there, and it bounces on the ice and slides to a stop. Yeah. Tried. <laughs> Where's that Molotov? Yeah, uh... <laughs> oh, that's from the other campaign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that's it for me. Actually, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Attack, um, son. One. Two. Oh, you're chickening out. I'm just backing up a bit. Until I can be We healed. need you, dude. We need you. Oh, I'll, I'll come back you in. Can. I will come back in. Oh, as soon as I'm healed. <laughs> That's why I want you like right at the front line because I'll just heal you anyway. All right, can I metagame for a so, second? Yep, go ahead. When you eventually kill this motherfucker, I want one of you to slice his freaking head off and bring it back and parade it around the town. I don't know oh, what don't you're worry. saying. You're dead. And then get my 15 gold back from that fucking wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end of my turn. Okay, um, Drummond. All right, I am right. going to tell. Shuken, I, I'm not going to heal you in this turn. What I'm going to ask you to do on your turn is to grab the healing potion that you passed to Orme off of him. I was already going to do that. So. All right, cool. So, <laughs> Just so we, we're on the same page. All right, I'm going to right. cast uh, Magic Missile on the dragon. Magic Missile. And I get a plus two because of combat advantage, right? Correct. Come on, baby. 
This is versus reflex. Nope. It uh, the dragon just shifts out of the way. Motherfuck! All right, I'm gonna move, or I'm gonna sustain the fire. Is is the ice changing at all? You notice that the ice is all beginning to melt away, and the water is getting deeper. The dragon's feet are mostly can, uh, covered in water now. All right, I'm gonna sustain the fire, and I'm gonna move one. Two, three, four, five, six. You're not doing what I thought you were. <laughs> it's too obvious. Too hard to hide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Orme's guts so I can cover it up with his corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is that it for you then? Y yeah, I'm done. Dane? Can I get a saving throw? Yep. Please. You've never had this effect off of you, so... I know, right? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Keep the healing coming. You're doing, I mean, you're, you're the only reason that any of us are still alive. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, so... <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, so I'm gonna heal myself. Oh, first. fuck. Right. You don't want I the healer you. dying. I trust you. <laughs> All right, I like so... none of that. Let's see. So it's a plus Shit. eight. Plus. All right, so it's plus. Oop, shit. It's eight, two, four. So eight. Two, and then the D six. Eight. So yeah, it's basically one d six plus twelve. Shit. All right. So thirteen for myself. Still not a bad heal. Yeah, I almost put myself at max. All right. This is my last heal, by the way. Eliac, it's going to you. Oh, you can't heal me right now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm It's two. a minor action, so I'm sacrificing my move. So Thank yeah, you you spend a healing surge, and you, then you get one d6 additional health, and then you tack on an additional four to it as well because of my charisma bonus and the bonus from losing assault because it's still gotcha. yeah, the effect ends this turn. Okay, so that's fifteen. Good. Thank you very much. That puts me. And that's it for my heals. For so let's make a count. How much health does this dragon have again? A uh, total of 232. Okay, so it's, it's been bloodied for quite a while now. So it's... Yeah, but we haven't been dealing that all that much damage to it. Well, half of 232 is 115. It's gotta be below 90. We've taken out targets with 115 uh, before. Around there. That, um... Uh, in the other campaign. Really, we just need Shuken that... to keep up the damage. <laughs> there were, you know, seven people. In that campaign, but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, technically six. Daglas was over here shit. doing some damage. I'm trying to do damage. <laughs> all right, so rusing assault. He's got a lot of fancy tricks. That's all he's got. I don't even know where he went. All right, so rusing assault. That's the ability I'm going to use. So it's strength versus AC. There's my roll crit son. Nice. What do I get? Does that mean I can do maybe like full damage this time around? Um, or something, something special. Please. Give me something. <laughs> yes, you can do full damage. Yay! Okay. Thank full you. So maximum damage. Because yeah, I think no matter what, a crit is just full damage. I believe. I don't. Know, is that correct? Like per the rule book? I this this would be something that isn't covered. It would. So you have, so my attack is one d six. It's one d. Uh, sorry, it's one d ten plus six. And then I get a bonus of uh, plus four from the poison. So that, does that mean I just do 20 damage then? Exactly. Okay, so 20 damage. Okay. And that's it for my turn. All right. Um, Shuken. Okay, I'm going to reach Save back real throw. quick. Oh, Save. yeah, that thing. Hey. All right. The effects fall off of you. 
Right, I'm gonna reach back real quick and grab uh, that healing vial that was still in Orme's hand. All right. And drink that. How much is that? So you get to spend a healing surge, and then you also get to regain an additional 1d8 plus 1. Man, it didn't take you long to start robbing the dead. <laughs> At least I just steal things from kobolds. Should my death benefit the group, I shall give my life. Not bad, not bad at all. In, yeah, alright. It's not bloated anymore. Actually, I did Rusing Assault, didn't I? Yes. Oh, right, never mind, never mind. You're good, sorry. Um, did that take one miner to do all that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shift here. Okay. To regain. Does that give me combat advantage? Yes, it does. Okay. I'm here on the direct side there. Now I'm going to use Twin Strike again. Here, just to give uh, Kermit, I don't know how to delete this, but just to give everybody an idea of what, what they're dealing with here. This is the dragon's hitbox. Okay. Well, I figured that, but thank you. But just for like shooting there. So he's on its direct side right now. Do I delete that? Just delete. One, two, yep. ten plus one plus one. Does plus it work for me? Four, eight damage. Delete, Could delete, have been delete. better. I can't delete it for some reason. Oh, I had to select it. Then delete. Oh, there we go. Who moved it? Oh, because <laughs> I don't want to delete the dragon on accident. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we killed it. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that's like an attack doesn't hit. Uh, no. Okay, so he just takes eight damage. Then. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, end of my turn. All right. Great, dragon's turn. All right, and um. Well, I tell Dane probably he shouldn't come over where I'm staying. Like maybe slide, shift like on a diagonally square or something. Oh, uh, motherfucker! You gonna go for the reach too, ain't ya? Dragon turns back and uh, bites at you, Elliot. Yeah, that's right. You can go for the reach, too. What's your AC again? 18. You know, you think I know your guys' AC since I've asked like 200 times, but I don't. I wouldn't remember. I wouldn't remember it. Again, it bites down on your armor and does not does not puncture it. Um, Orme? Never mind. Oh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Yeah, I, had really, I had a really fucking hilarious one. I was going to use my uh, Mind Shadows which allows me to do psychic damage, and then I was going to have whoever has the, uh, uh, what's it called, the voice changer to sing Singing in the Rain for me. That was going to be part of my damage Three. that I do to him. <laughs> shift. Shift into it. I can't shift, but I, I can, I can, I, I, I won't have an opportunity deck here. So it doesn't need to shift thought. anyway, because it's... Or, oh. and let me turn my guy here. You can only, like, shift... You, uh, shifting uses up your entire move, I believe. It yes. Yep. Got it. Okay. And I so I've got combat advantage. Is that plus two to to rolls, like the initial roll? Yep. Have you okay, still so... been uh, calculating the ongoing two fire damage I've been doing? You know what? I didn't this turn. I just there we go. Just did. <laughs> Six. <laughs> I swear, if he gets killed by that freaking fire damage, you're helping, Drummond. <laughs> there we go. Versus fortitude. All right. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, one D plus three. Not a lot of damage, but he's going to be knocked prone. I don't know why I'm not using my macros right now. Ten damage. And he is knocked prone. And... That's gonna that's gonna be it for me. Okay. And Drummond. Okay, how is the ice doing now? Check for you. Um, it is melting more. Uh the water is getting deeper. Uh is it near breaking point? Uh it's hard you can't tell how thick the ice is. You just know that it is pooling. Can he even see the ice? Yeah. Well, I'm, I guess I'll keep the uh, 
I'll just... well, I guess what you see is you just see water now. My feetsies are getting wet. Okay, so I guess I'll cast another magic missile. Okay. Now they still have combat advantage, yeah? Yep. Come on, big money. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to move back one, two, three, and I want to see what's inside. Watch right. for the mimics. Um, as you grab yeah. the chest, oh, I'm shit. locked. Okay. I was gonna say, he's gonna pull some Four, Dark Souls mimic shit. Five. There's fucking mimics in this too, and they're And dangerous. I'm just gonna stay here for now. Okay. Technically uh, speaking, Dane? it's gonna be anything. Alrighty. Give me mm. a save and roll, save and roll. Oh yeah. Please for the love of Christ. Oh, it's a d12. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> good god, man. Really <laughs> persists. <laughs> you know, everyone's gonna go back to town and you're gonna be like slowly dragging your ass down the road. <laughs> Guys, help me. <laughs> Can I do a strength check to carry his poor ass? You're dead. <laughs> can, I, can I use my action point to re-roll that? You could use a DM point, but not an action point. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't use it. I'm literally, it's either like I go all in with this turn and hope that like my oh, DM in action, because I still have a DM point and I have my action point. Uh, so like, either I go all in with this or that's it. Like, I'm probably going to die. Go all in, brother. All in? All in. Alright, fuck. Alright, DM point. Using it. Go ahead. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you can take that DM point. All in, brother. <laughs> okay. Uh, the condition persists. That was totally worth saying. <laughs> I fucking knew that was gonna happen too. God damn, you cannot roll a saving throw. He's a you're, dwarf. Lucky. you're not one of the ones going unconscious. Alright, bruising assault, here we go. Just the same old bullshit attack. Let's do my four damage. <laughs> I had I had that all planned out. I was gonna use my daily. I was gonna re-roll on the daily if you I didn't like use it. Daily and take half the uh half the damage on him. Yeah, no, I'm good. Alright. He's prone right now. He's gonna take extra damage, I believe, if he's prone, correct? Is that true? No. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Not worth it. Alright, All right, um. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, yeah, this is a d20. Again, it's strength versus AC. Okay. And for this, I am actually going to use my axe two-handed, so I'm going to get a plus one to the attack as well. You know what? I've been forgetting to add plus ones to my stuff. Uh, I can't think of a roll of yours that they would have helped. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. He fucking hits, that's good. See, he can roll good attack rolls. Yeah, it's just... Can't, I just can't, can't fucking... Can't fucking hit slow a save, myself. It's just like you're gonna, next turn, you're going to save, and then you're going to roll your daily and roll a one. I know, I, I know. Trust me. That's why I still it's got one that, or the other, man. Still got that action point. All right, here we go. Here's my damage. Oh, a crit. All right. Max damage. So nine damage. Is that with the plus four? Oh no, that's not with the plus four. So nine plus the four. I forgot to add that in. Sorry. So it's thirteen. At this point, the dragon is incredibly bloody, and the water is beginning to turn red. Okay, now I tell I like to tell him that this is his last chance to uh, surrender. I relay that. And Eliak, you tell everyone else. Um, he says that I cannot die. That which is uh, dead guys, cannot die. Says, I cannot die. <laughs> and then I say in Dwarvish, Ishkarkur, or whatever the fuck uh, Gimli says in Lord of the Rings, El which El is basically some swear word. Eliak, do you must construct additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons. No, with the thing. You must construct additional pylons. 
<laughs> that sounds almost exactly like it. All right, that was Secret great. of Blizzard voice acting. All right. So is that the that's the end of your turn then, correct, Dane? Yeah, I'm good. Shukin. I'm going to shift there. Okay. And then I'm going to, you guessed it, use Twin Strike. <laughs> Switching it up, guys. You guessed it. See, he built a strong character, but when you build a strong character, it usually doesn't have much variety. It's the problem is I used my encounter my daily already. I'm going to, this time, attack on my short sword first. Like, I'll, I'll tell you guys the amount of variety I have here. I have... Switching up a bit. I have seven at-will powers. Jesus. 25? But they're not very strong. I don't do very much damage. 1, D... Uh, 6. This is probably the killing blow. Plus 1, plus 1, do it. plus... 4. 12. Right. And as you strike the dragon... Yes. Yes. He regains all his hit points. <laughs> <laughs> um, his head just drops on yes his finally and as his head strikes oh the shit head, it gives way oh god I, I you know what I'm using my you know what I'm interjecting using my fucking last DM point taking my rope throwing it at Shuken whatever the fuck his name is saving his ass <laughs> um done <laughs> He's shooting to swim. He'll be fine. Head. Cut off his okay, head. Uh, both, both of you give me strength checks. Dane giving strength check. Dane and Shukin. Sure, just plain strength. Yep. Twenty plus five. Is it Seventeen. All right, Dane. You pull him out of the freezing water immediately. Gotcha. Got you, homie. All right. Um. Can I, I do an to. Arcana check on the water to see if there's any, like, residual magic from the dragon's blood or anything like that? Um, yeah. Go for it. Uh, you aren't noticing any magic. Okay. However, you aren't noticing any magic anymore the dragon is dead for sure it's magical aura is gone it's all a right. shame we lost to make the sure i am chopping its head off all right are you gonna carrying that fucker back all right add um add 30 pounds to your kid got it i'm gonna go can, can we skin to, it uh... yeah yeah okay i'll skin uh, it can we see that can we see the rest of that room uh, hang on, I'll just explain. There's not, nothing else to it. I'll just explain to you. Um, but real quick, skinning it. Um, give me a... Uh... Let's see here. I guess give me a dungeoneering check so I can check the quality of the hide after you finish okay. skinning it. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a cheerleader over here now while I'm making this new character. <laughs> By the way, do any of you speak Eldar? Eldar? This is a Warhammer. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, Eldar is the name of the elves. You skin the hide very, very well. It um, has no holes. Or you skin the dragon, rather, very, very well. It has no holes or any flaws in it. Alright, I put that in my backpack. Loot the dragon? Does it have any loot on it? Uh, the dragon does not. It's simply a dragon. It doesn't have pockets. What but, has it got right, in its so pockets? Is? What? I'm gonna loot uh, Orme's body. Uh, Orme? Huh? What? He loots your body? I don't know what you have, so you're gonna have to tell him what he finds on you. What kind of GM are you? You don't know it. What... Hold up, <laughs> guys! <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving the pouch of sixty gold back to Shukin before this happens. Okay. So don't give it to me. Um, I've got an adventurer's kit, thieves' tools, and a bottle of wine. I'm also okay. carrying a rod and a dagger. Any gold? Forty-two hey, dag. gold. Yo. Forty-two. Okay. You wanna you wanna go on an adventure with me to try to 
craft that dragon scale into uh, a little up. bit of armor for myself. Uh, I want to tell oh, the party. On. Okay, whenever. I'll just wait. I was, uh, I'm gonna go back, and, like pick up Orme's body and carry it around with me, and uh, go back into where uh, Drummond was when we were fighting the wait, dragon. Wait, I want to tell you first. There's <laughs> a there's a treasure chest back there, and it's locked. Does anyone go. is anyone good at picking locks? I can pick the lock. I've got a, I got and a you guys have also, to Hold on, hold on. I can, we, my dead body. can we perhaps do an insight check to see if that silver key was actually in fact for this treasure no, it, chest as it, opposed it to the door? It wasn't because I did the insight check. Oh, you did? Okay. It was for the door for sure. Okay, so I suppose it could be for both, but Drummond if need be, I could probably open. smash the chest open. Uh, I have a crowbar if we can't manage to pick it open, but let me try to do this well, first. Hold on. I'll give I'll give you the thieves tools. I have thieves tools. Oh. As he's doing thieves. this, I also move closer to the chest. Okay. Okay. Just so I can see. All right. Give me. But I also have my axe at the ready, just in case <laughs> something pops out of it. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> in case you had to kill Drummond. Um, give me a thief oh, check, Drummond. All right. Plus two for the jewels. Wow. Um, just when it seems that the chest won't give, you finally pop the lock on it and open it up. Inside is 100 gold pieces, uh, a small felt bag with a pearl inside, and a sword. What kind of sword? Can I Arcana yeah. check the sword? There's no need. Holy fucking shit. This thing. Ooh! That looks pretty. Motherfucker well, looks like me and Shukin about to fight for this shit. Who uses long swords? <laughs> uh, I think I do. I vote that Shukin should get the long sword. I'd How say does it work roll... if two people want it? Roll. Just roll a straight d20. Yep. Is that how it works, DM? Yeah, if you have a DM point, add you can sacrifice to add an extra point to it. Okay, give me a second. Shukin has none. Elliot has none. None of you have any. Yeah. Nope. Draw. Oh, fuck. All right, Shukin. All right. I I'll win. See how it goes. Or not, yeah. Shukin. Uh, Elliot, come in. Yeah, Shukin gets it. Yeah, I'm not gonna count crits or or fails or anything. When, okay. when you, roll. Um, you critically do not I, get the long sword. I say to the party that um, <laughs> that we should uh, put aside ten gold to pay for a proper funeral for uh, Orome. And oh, fuck, I just I just rolled his body into the goddamn water. Uh, no, we're not doing that. Um, I didn't do that. I did do that. <laughs> I give uh, Elec ten gold. No, 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 no. I insist. I will give ten gold. Okay. For the funeral? Yes, I will give ten gold of my share for the funeral. Hell, am I? Am I? Am I in, no, I was gonna give a, like God. ten gold because I got the sword. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna. I'll pay oh. for Orme's okay. funeral. And Dane, can I just have you roll a flat d20 real quick? Sure. What's this for? Uh oh. Hey, you're no longer slowed or anything. I just want to. I just want to see if you can roll out of it. Is there, is there anything other? That's than... really what I needed, like a nine to get out of it or something. You needed a ten or higher. Is there anything other than the dragon's corpse at the bottom of the water? Nothing. Nothing. And I assumed already that you drugged the dragon out of the water. Okay. I yeah, chopped its head off, so we're is, good. Yeah, you skinned it. Chopped its head off. You did not do that underwater. Is there any secret compartments in the chest? Can, can I do a check? Um, give me a perception check. Um, perception. Okay. You notice none. Damn. What kind of wood is the chest made of? Just old rickety wood just old wood probably pine okay Oops. can i would the chest be usable um yes okay i'm gonna take the chest with me all right add um 
at about at 40 pounds. Do you mind if I put the dragon's head in it for now? Uh, you, can you carry it? Yeah, I can carry it. All right, awesome. And the and yeah. the dwarves can carry uh, without penalty. Yeah. A uh, question, because I'm making my character right now. I, I had an idea for a character I already wanted to make. Um, what are we allowed to do right off the bat? Is it we can add simple and our basic armor, and then we can buy anything else we want? Yes, you get a basic melee weapon and a and a basic armor, and then you can buy anything else you want. You cannot sell back that armor for some amount to get something better, though. Correct. Like, if you don't want it, you just don't get it, and then you buy something else. So. Okay, that makes sense. So I can buy a military weapon to be yes. able, like I could buy a longsword if I had the gold. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, and then what do the adventurers in the in the dungeon where the dragon was? Um, want uh, who uh, wants to help me carry a roam outside of the? Uh, well, I the can mausoleum. carry him. All right. Could carry him. Well, are I'll you guys see. headed back back to town? Yeah, I think well, there's anything else in the Adventures Guild. You should have anything else in the Adventures yeah. Guild and, and show. Okay, I am. Show the guards. Yeah, show the guards my my dead body and the dragon that they sacrificed to me. My blood is on their hands. I'm actually not. I don't think we should show them the dragon head. I'm actually going to show them the dragon ling head. Why? What's what's your reasoning behind that? The little tiny because drake. It, no, yeah, because if somebody is going to claim that they killed the dragon and then hold us up for basically highway robbery, how if about they're going to take? How about we present the dragon's head to the leader of the town, whoever that is? That'll mm -hmm. get us. That'll get us like a feast. Yep. All right. Yeah, we'll do that first. All right. So you all backtrack out of this tomb, past all the bodies and the rooms, and you uh, ascend the stairs into the graveyard. And uh, hang on, let me do a bit of calculating real quick. And it is approximately uh, nine in the morning. The sun is coming up at this point. Uh, and here we stop for the night. Okay. Like, like, like the game. We're gonna stop for the night because it's it's starting to go late here, and I, you know, had something I wanted to do tonight. So uh, we'll pick up right back here Sunday, where we are, and we'll. Uh, actually begin Seekers of the Ashen Crown. Oh, that was like a uh, ex experience run? Yep, that whole dungeon was for experience. So... Do we level? Hang on, I'm checking Probably it right leveled. now. We just killed How much dragon. experience? Do you, how much experience do you guys have right now? 420. 420, yeah. Add 400. Just place. Oh. Dude, so 8. Almost. So you guys will level very soon. Yeah, you... I think that deserves a lot. Yeah. Did you get the uh, did you write down the items that we just got from the like the money? I'm itself? dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh... <laughs> I ain't dead. I'll, I'll write it down. I uh, I'm going it. to I'm going to just delete the real maze character. That's fine. Well, you might want to no, I mean, hold like... on to like the account for the rest of the that's gold because we don't like know everything. how much we have. Yeah, I mean, I know that I gave you guys. 42. What the fuck? Okay, okay, so whatever you guys have on you, I've written down uh, what we got in the chest. Um, I'm assuming you guys are keeping track of your own dead body heads. Yeah, it's a hundred gold, uh, life drinker, uh, the old chest. And the pearl. Uh, oh yeah, the pearl. Oh, can gold? I do a uh, arcana check on the uh, felt bag? Yeah. I mean, I doubt it's going to be a bag of holding, but... No, it's, we we'll split it, it up. Okay. Yeah, so I mean... Is it, oh, did you check the pearl? Let's see if there was anything special about the pearl. It appears to be a simple felt bag. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the bag for ritual components, if you guys don't mind. Okay. And, uh, you recognize the pearl is worth approximately 20 gold pieces. Oh, that's it. Okay, so I guess we'll sell that then. Yeah, probably. Unless anybody objects. Okay. I don't object. Uh, wh what other amount of money did we make during that, uh, that entire dungeon? We just got 100 gold I pieces had... during that time. I also had the 60 because we found 60. Yeah, the 60, right. uh, we found 100. 
Uh, we, we found a bunch of rubies and stuff, didn't we? We found... We, earlier we found 100 gold, 2 rubies, and 2 garnets. Okay, so you have that. So that would bring the total to 200 gold plus 80 gold. So that'd be 280 gold plus 2 rubies and 2 garnets. I don't know how much those are worth. Plus the pearl. We already... Yeah, pearl is 20. Okay. I mean, what do red items mean in the... Uh... Can't use them. Or are you taking a uh, negative check against it? Like you're not of the level. Okay. Man, I need 520 gold. How much are rubies and gardens worth? I can't remember. Okay, the rubies, uh, which you found one, is worth approximately 50 gold pieces. And the two garnets are worth approximately 25 gold pieces each. So 15 total. Is there anyone else in the character creator right now? Yes. No. Oh. Do you mind if I get on so I can make my character? Or do you need it for character you knowledge? Should, you should be able to get... I, I've gotten on with multiple people on at the same time, but no issues. Yeah, it, it's booting me off. It's booting me off three times so far at the end of my character, so this is the fourth time I've oh, made yeah. it. Um, question, if people want if people want to share gold, can we can we count all our gold up like as, as a total? Like, what, basically uh, say it's the group's gold and then the group votes how it's spent. Is that well, I'm just asking, like, if anybody wants wants to, depending on how much gold we actually have, if we have, like, uh, if we can divvy it up so uh, we can maybe get some magic weapons here. And I, I just want to kind of figure out what kind of what amount of gold we're dealing with as a group right now, like in total, what, all, what we're all carrying, what we all have banked, what we've all found. Uh, let me check. Just assuming we sell the, per the all the gems that we found, all, all four of them. Um, so that would be sixty plus twenty plus. <coughs> so everybody post their gold amount right now. We found 380 gold in the dungeon, I believe. Assuming that's that. everything. Yeah, that, there's not nearly enough to even get, like, one person. Is that including selling the, uh, what do you call Uh, well, we still have the, uh, the dragon scale, which, uh, and the drake scale, which might be worth quite a bit if we don't want to make, like, dragon scale armor, but we gotta find a blacksmith to do that, and that's gonna be expensive. Um, I'll pay for it. If you give me, if you give me the armor, I'm not sure Primate, how expensive will... it's gonna be, dude. Primate, what, what would your ruling be on making some armor, some scale armor out of that? Um, hang on. Let me roll open and see how expensive dragon scale armor is. First of all. <coughs> hey, uh, Austin, you added the uh, the ten I gave you, right? No, so that would be 50, 56. I am not certain on that. We'll have to get to it next time. Like, let me do a little bit of looking into it. Um, the I'm guessing to have a, this the armor made is going to probably be a few hundred gold pieces at least. You could always ask if, if we do get some sort of thing from the leader of the town. You could always ask to see if we could get something done. Yeah, yeah, you can always do that too. True. I wouldn't oh. mind giving up like a major reward so that we could get some Drake scale armor or dragon scale armor. The armor would the armor is very very good though like plus ten to your armor bonus. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, that's basically like giving me like Frodo's mithril. Look, vest. if it's I'll too good, it. we're not gonna get it, man. Just that's not the best armor though by any means uh, and we're talking about just basic armor types here not magical armor or anything else elder scale armor is plus 13 to armor bonus and that's of scale armors then in plate there's god plate armor which is plus 14 I mean like there's a lot better armors and the, again those aren't even magical armors so there's still better stuff so I mean you'll have to let me figure out a cost or if you want to ask the um, leader of the town or whatever then I'm yeah. looking up cost right now so, all right. Well, um, I'm was, gonna take off. That was a good. Uh, 
that was good. And uh, for everyone watching, uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, bye.